Today's video is gonna be a little bit different than what I typically do on my channel. Sorry if it's a little bit echoey, but I'm in an empty room in my basement hiding from my family with all the Christmas gifts and decor that I have started collecting. Welcome to my channel if you're new here and if not welcome back my name is Tana and this is boardroom to bounce house and in today's video I am taking you Ray Dunn hunting we're gonna go hit up a garage sale and a couple of stores just to see if we can find any Christmas stuff it is October now but Christmas is already coming out and I've seen it on the shelves so let's go see if we can find anything so real quick while I'm at the light the first place I'm going is this garage sale they opened at 9 it's 9 45 so I'm not getting there quite when I wanted to but I found out about the scratch sale in one of my buy sell trade groups for Ray Dunn in my local area so if you're into Ray Dunn and you're hunting you might want to keep your eyes peeled and join those Facebook groups they're in every town because people will have garage sales where they just have Ray Dunn. Okay, so the garage sale was kind of a bust not only is it pouring rain so I had to like run in and run out but she told me that because she posted on the group right so people knew that she was gonna have Ray Dunn a woman and a a woman and her husband came and bought every single piece right at nine o'clock. Apparently she was selling them for one dollar each. I'm like killing myself that I didn't get here right at nine o'clock. But anyway, that person will enjoy them or resell them online, I don't know. But it wasn't meant to be, so I'm gonna go to Marshall's right now and see if I can find any Christmas canisters. Let's go to Marshall's. I guess I should say the garage sale wasn't a total bus because I did buy a toaster for $5. And I've been looking at toasters online and I almost spent like $60 on a toaster the other day as a Christmas present for basically myself, but I was gonna put my husband's name on it because we need a new toaster, but I got one for five dollars. Okay, I'm here at Home Goods and Marshalls and I got literally as close as I could to the door because I don't wanna get soaking wet. So let's go in and see if we can find any Christmas canisters or any other majorly awesome stuff. I can already tell they have so much stuff. Let's check it out. Okay, my strategy is that I'm gonna come back to the Halloween section, but before I do Halloween, I wanna see if there's anything new in the back of the store that is Christmas. Little stands are cute. Oh, they have another set right there. I see that stuff. Okay, they have this giant nutcracker. My husband collects nutcrackers. My husband collects nut. Oh, it's $24. What do we think? Maybe. Poor little deer. They really like pack way too much stuff in these shelves, in my opinion. It's like too hard to get to anything. Like, what is this? Down here. like signs but I never know what to do with these. This one's kind of cute. I like this but it only has four. I need five. I'm on the hunt for ornaments. If I find any ornaments I'll be super super stoked. These nutcrackers, they're like massive, huge. Kind of intrigued. 
I need solid red paper. Oh, these are super cute. $14.99 for two? They only have two packs and I would need one more extra. I'm gonna put them in my cart because I might find another one somewhere in the store. <gasps> What's this? Oh no, that's just a... This one's so cute. From anywhere to Santa Claus to the North Pole. Better not pout. <laughs> This is what I've been looking for. Basics. I guess I only need one of these because Michael's not gonna want one next to his side of the sink. I don't use this kind of soap. I like these, but do I really need it? Probably not. I just keep getting distracted by all this cute stuff. Look at this guy, he's cute. I'm not seeing any ornaments. I like this little guy. And then these are like super cute, jingle all the way. Well, I kind of like this black one. This would actually match well with some stuff I already have. Ooh, tree toppers. I do need a new tree topper. I don't see any that are really calling out to me. Okay, I gotta, I gotta keep moving here. Gotta stay focused. Banisters would be somewhere around here. Oh, that's cute, Survivor. Okay, how cute is that? With a little home, but I don't need it. I'm gonna resist. Also cute. Something I'd find in canisters over here. Stuff just like moves all the time. If they <laughs> oh, these are just plain. Oh, look at this guy. Ooh, these are pretty. Oh, it's broken down there, I think. This would match with another canister I got for fall. I might have to pick this up. We have all the Christmas pillows out. Okay, I found some more tins, which these are super cute to put like your cookies in. Are they worth $5.99? I don't know. There's a whole bunch of them. And then I found a couple of these. Which, I mean, that's a cute little gift for somebody. Nine bucks. These are cute, but where would I put this? I have nowhere to put that. Ooh, I see some mugs. I love these mugs, actually, because they keep my coffee really warm, and I use them, like, literally. I have a couple that I use all the time. I'm a Libra, and I don't even see one with Libra. This one's cute, but I don't need it. I also have this, but... That just seems like a lot of extra effort for me. They have these, but I just don't really know what I would do with them. And we have all these baskets. I don't really want baskets that are specific. And that's kind of it so far. No canisters. I did find two other cute canisters though. They also have these on clearance for just six dollars, but they're like huge. And they have this too. Should I get it to trade? I don't know. I feel like no one really wants this. Oh, I like this one. I'm so excited because I returned all my stuff at TJ Maxx. I returned a bunch of radon stuff that I ordered online and then I just like realized I didn't need it. It was too much. 
Anyway, but I found Christmas canisters. I only found one. It said happy holidays, but they had three. Actually, they had more than three. They had five. I left two. I bought three. I bought one for me. I bought one for someone in my buy, sell, trade group. And I bought an extra one to either gift or trade in case I can't find Jingle Bells, which I really want, or gingerbread. But I'm gonna go hit up Home Goods next before it gets like crazy because it's Friday afternoon. You get it before it gets crowded. I think those red ones that I just got, literally, I think they had just been put on the shelf. I really do. Okay, definitely need a card in this store. Ooh, I hope they have a lot of stuff. Where should I start? They have these trays that are really cute. This one is $12.99 and this one is $14.99. I have these over here. I kind of like the one that was Santa, but I also really like this one that says Santa stuff. Okay. Home Goods was mostly a bust for Ray Dunn today. I did buy that tray that says Santa stop here because it was cute and I don't know, I might return it, but we'll see how much other goodies I can find. But I did get a couple of cute things for Christmas gifts. So that was nice that I got some of that and I got wrapping paper and I got tape so I can go home and start wrapping my gifts. But total bust on canisters. I also want to mention that today's video is part of a collab with nine of my friends here on YouTube. So when you're done with my video, make sure you check out theirs. They're doing tons of planning and getting ready to decorate their homes as well. I got started early this year. I like to get things done early. I like to not leave it till the last minute, but I just wanted to share with you what I got so far. I am going to be filming a couple videos over the next couple weeks what I got my kids for Christmas, um, but we're gonna start with some decor with pretty much all Ray Dunn stuff. I have recently become obsessed in the last year with Ray Dunn. Um, my husband like thinks I'm crazy, I probably am. Really focus on some of the seasonal stuff that I got, the Thanksgiving I got that's Ray Dunn, and the Christmas that I've already gotten that's Ray Dunn. And I am still on the hunt for some more Christmas canisters, but at least for now, I've picked up like a couple things here and there as I've seen them come out. I may end up returning some of this stuff if I find better things, uh, but I just wanted to share you, with you what's out there in the store. The first thing that I ended up finding was this white pumpkin that says gather, and this was $14.99 at HomeGoods. And then just the other day, I found two of these gobble uh, little like crocs, I guess, for soup. I really was only, I was gonna get just one for like my tiered tray, but I ended up getting two. I can't decide if I'm gonna keep these yet. I might trade these on like a buy sell trade group because it's really cute, but I just don't know how practical it is. But these were $7.99 a piece, and I found those at TJ Maxx. Cute Radon, um, what are these called? Napkins, so I picked up some of these just for like, you know, having people over and for Thanksgiving and things like that. I found this at Home Goods for $6. Again, not Radon, but I thought it would go really cute with my Radon stuff, and it says, give thanks eat pie, and I just thought that was really, really cute. Funny. And then these last three items are kind of why I think I'm even going to decorate for Thanksgiving because normally I just go right from Halloween to Christmas, but I may actually have a couple, two weeks or so where I enjoy Thanksgiving. I found this mug that says give thanks and I actually don't really collect Raid on mugs. I like their insulated steel mugs and I like her mugs that are like taller like this, but I don't really like the fat chubby mugs. I find them to be really heavy. Um, and this one is just a bit more tall and slender. So I did end up getting this one. It was $8, which I feel like is not that bad for one of her mugs, because lately, the ones with the toppers are like, it's like a crazy amount of money. Some of them are like $14.99. I'm like, mm, no thank you for a mug. And then I found this chubby canister that says cookies on it, and it's in like a purpley burgundy. And I originally got this thinking that I would trade it for maybe like a Christmas canister or something else but I'm kind of growing attached to it, so I think I'm actually going to keep it and put it up when Halloween is over and kind of do this in between Halloween and Christmas, and then next fall I could use this as well. It's also neutral enough that I feel like, I don't know, maybe I could even use it at Valentine's Day. I also felt like, okay, now maybe I need to keep the cookies canister because this is a bowl in the same exact color that says fall, y'all, which is just like something I love. 
and it came with this little happy fall spatula, $19.99. I probably won't buy anything else if I happen to see any Thanksgiving stuff out because it just becomes too much at some point. Okay, so I've gotten a few things for Christmas so far. I did pick up this little, it's a dog elf. It's like a little sweater for my dog. I don't know how much it was. I bought it online. This was one of the first Christmas things I got a couple weeks ago. This was $16.99 and I just love the trees on it. And it says Merry Christmas. I will not be buying any more pillows because honestly, if you watch my haul from last year, I bought like way too many pillows. So no more pillows. I said that this was the end of the Christmas pillows. And then a few days later, I found this pillow that says joy to the world. And it has the check on the back with the red tassels. And I just couldn't resist it. I don't know why. It's so corny, but I couldn't resist it. So I grabbed it and I'm probably going to put it on my bed for a little joy. I think I like that it's neutral, black and white, but still festive. I think that's what I couldn't resist about it. I don't know. Can anyone else explain this to me in the comments below? It would be helpful if I could understand why I can't resist white pillows with black lettering with phrases on them. These aren't redone, but I found these at Home Goods. They were $14.99 for two, so that's like not that bad. It's a better price than if you were just to buy a single one at Target. Um, I liked that they were like black and natural, which is kind of like the vibe I'm going for in my house. Problem is I could only find two sets of these, so I have four total and I need more. So I'll have to see if I can find another one in the next couple weeks while I'm hunting before I decorate. And if not, then I will probably return those because unless I can find a full set, not really worth keeping. I got this adorable gnome globe that says Merry Christmas. And this was $14.99, which is kind of ridiculous, but he's so cute. So I haven't decided. This might become a gift for someone. I might keep it. I don't know, I haven't really decided. I'm sorry the lighting is so bad in here, but it's really gray out today, and I'm just, this is the only room I can film this in, so sorry. I also got this. It says, he sees you when you're drinking. This was $9.99. Really cute frame that says, Merry Christmas. It was $7.99. They had a ton of these at Home Goods, like probably like 40 of them in different styles, but this is the one I picked with the little reindeer at the top, not Ray Dunn, but I just thought it would go really well with decor I already have, and it says Mary at the top. I got some um, ornaments last year that were like kind of this tin, like texture. Uh, they were on my Christmas tree, so you can watch that video if you're interested. I bought this like, I think I bought this in September, but it says Santa stops here, and I have a ledge in my kitchen that I wanna put this on, and I don't know, I just thought it was cute. Well, how much was this? $19.99, probably too much money, but I don't know. Oh my God, look at this little lumberjack. Man, isn't he the cutest? He was $16.99, it says lumberjack. They had all different ones, they had tons of them, and I just liked him the best, so that's why I went with this guy. And I already have a lot of gnomes that have like the buffalo check, so he will go really well with stuff that I already have. I found this today at Home Goods. It was $10. I picked up two of these. I'm probably gonna keep one for my kitchen, and then I picked up one as a gift. Really good things to just pick up when you see them at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods, and save them for like teacher's gifts and hostess gifts. I got all different colors of this. These were $3.99 a piece. I found these at TJ Maxx. I, I left a ton of them. Don't worry, I didn't buy the whole store out, but I did buy, I think, about eight of them just because they're so good. I love to put them in my like stash for when I need a quick gift or stocking stuff or something like that. Uh, white elephant, that cool sort of thing. So this is, it's, each one has a spatula and like a little cookie cutter. So this one says, tis the season with a little tree. They have one that says, fa la 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 with the tree. This one says, Merry Christmas with a tree. And this one says, let it snow with a snowflake. Um, so yeah, and I mean, my son has like four teachers that will need gifts and then the daycare and all that stuff. So these will definitely be given. I picked up these towels that are right on. They say believe on one towel and then Mary and Bright on the other towel. And these were $6.99 and I picked up a bunch of these again, just to give as gifts because anyone can use a towel in their kitchen. I wanna show you this giant nutcracker I bought. Husband, if you're watching, don't watch anymore. Slash, I really hope you're not watching. <laughs> I got this nutcracker for my husband. He was $24.99, which is kind of crazy, but my husband collects nutcrackers and he's like so big. So I just, I don't know. I felt like 
that was the nutcracker for this year. I give them one every year. I write the date and a note on the bottom. I also got that radon gift wrap that's over there in the corner. And then this thing I got for my kids. It is a uh, train that goes around your Christmas tree. I found it today at Home Goods. I think it was $29.99, so 30 bucks. Hopefully they don't mess with it too much, but I thought that would just be like so fun. So it's like a little block counter. It was $20 and it comes with days till months since sleeps until countdown to, and then it has just like different holidays and different emoji type things. So I got that, I actually got two of them because I might trade one on a buy sell trade group and if no one wants it, I'll just return it. Into like Christmas stocking stuffers and stuff, but I picked up a bunch of these to restock my like gift area in my house. So I have a bunch of like wishing you happy birthday, happy birthday cards, I've already used some of them for like the last minute gifts that come up. I got some baby stuff over there because I have a bunch of baby showers coming up. And then I grabbed a bunch of these too. Cause again, these are just like really nice hostess gifts and I'll probably keep one for myself. But one side says menu and then the other side says grocery list. And this was $5.99 at TJ Maxx. I got this one that says list to do take note. This one says shop and to do. Notepad and to do. That's, oh, this one's kind of cool. It says my goals. I might keep this one because it has like hours of sleep, water, things like that. I don't know. Maybe I'll just give it away. And then I got one that has lemons on it for spring. So yeah, I, I'm a hoarder apparently of the Ray Dunn stuff. Not going to talk about this stuff because this stuff will be in another video. This stuff is elf on the shelf supplies. My most prized possession of the hunt is this canister that says happy holidays. It is a fat chubby canister. You can fit quite a bit in there as far as cookies, coffee pods, whatever you want to put in there. I typically put coffee pods in mine. So thank you so much for watching this crazy raid on shopping haul where I bought way too much stuff in the last couple of months. I hope you'll subscribe so that you can see how I end up using these pieces. I'm gonna have lots of new videos coming up over the next couple of weeks. I really step it into high gear during the holiday season to push out new free content. So please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of it. I promise it will be a lot of fun. Don't forget that this video is part of a collab and you should definitely go check out their channels after you're done enjoying my Christmas content. Thanks so much for being here. Bye friends.